to face. And today we're going to we're going to be in New York. We're going to be in Richmond Hill. We're going to speak with, with the Sikh community in New York. And I'm with RP. RP, welcome back to face to face. <laughs> thanks, were, you thanks were here David. Like thanks for two having years me ago. back. No, yeah. you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. So you are man, a big star. You you made movie. You are on a bus, uh, advertising on a bus. You what? In the subways. And the subways. And, you know. And, uh, yeah, it, I mean it's uh, it's interesting. It's uh, uh, actually before I went into the buses and the subways uh, for 2016 uh, Democratic convention. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a bid by New York City because the final convention, uh, two cities were New York and Philadelphia. Yeah. And for New York, they wanted to pitch it, and uh, I got a call if uh, I can come in, and I said, sure. So they made a small uh, video of that, a video clip, uh, about 30 seconds, I would say. Yeah, sure. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. And out of all everything, you know, they decided this is the one we <laughs> want. <laughs> this is the one we want to pitch in, you know, which was surprising. But then, you know, all of a sudden this thing came up, and because uh, uh, under the current mayor Bill De Blasio, mm -hmm. uh, there has been incredible outreach to minorities, mm -hmm. the rights of the people, uh, especially undocumented, and mm -hmm. trying to. Uh, you know, keep the safety of the people first in New York City. Yeah. So they were doing this campaign, and uh, so the campaign was about languages, no? It, it was, was about the languages because okay. uh, we are living in New York City, the city where we have the people from um, uh, approximately 170 countries right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we have the correct count of number of countries, because mm -hmm. it goes on increasing. Yeah, <laughs> languages and dialects, like you mentioned, more than 800. It yeah. was in New York Times. Yeah. So. In this city, uh, reaching out to every part of the community, every community, whosoever they come in, it's a humongous task. Yeah. And uh, but they did pick up uh, where there are larger concentration and mm -hmm. the issues, and uh, and guess what? I ended up uh, being on the side of the buses. And I always say, you know, when somebody tells me, "Oh, I saw your picture on the bus," I tell them, "I say, well." I'm a poor guy, I don't have the money to get in, so I hang on the sides. <laughs> exactly. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. But you also make movies. You, you were on, uh, in a big production, not too like Yeah, a, it was uh, not too long ago. It was uh, a movie, uh, Learning to Drive. Learning to Drive. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's really interesting that how the whole thing happened. Um, the lady who wrote down the script, mm -hmm. okay, Sarah Karnokan, mm -hmm. Um, she already had two Oscars under her belt. Uh -huh. And she started, you know, looking out uh, to write the script about, you know, uh, the taxi drivers and the sex and our migration. And there was another lady who worked in Daily News, who uh -huh. now, Susanna Bates, who is in San Francisco now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She knew me. So she introduced me to uh, Sarah, so that if you need, really want to, to get really get into Punjabi community, her priest is the guy. Exactly. This so the that's how the, the whole journey started. Yeah. So she wrote on the script after the script was written. She was like, ah, you know what? Even if the script is written, it doesn't mean the movie will happen. I said, well, we'll see. And that was way back, I think, in 2004. Uh -huh. And then we just had to wait. There was money, there was no money, you know, there were actors, there were of no course. actors. There were directors, no and directors. Then, yeah, and then all of a sudden I got a call in March of uh, 2013. Oh, Harpreet, um, we need to meet. I'm like, okay. Uh, Sir Ben is going to play the role of a Sikh. Oh, wow. I'm like, what? You know, because, uh, uh, yeah, he is such a, you know, uh, international personality, and uh, he's the gentleman who actually played the role of Gandhi in Gandhi movie. Yeah. And I was also told that uh, after he saw the script, immediately he decided to do it without even negotiating the payments and stuff like that, because when you are a big actor, you know, you always have your own priorities and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, excuse me, so when I was told that Sir Ben is going to play the role of the Sikh, I was like, 
All right, so it is going to happen now. <laughs> and then Patricia Clark was uh, going to be the uh, actress in yeah. there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the thing started rolling, yeah. and then they went so quickly, yeah. even before I knew. Yeah. And then I came to know that the movie has been uh, selected to be shown at TIFF, the Toronto International mm -hmm. Film Festival, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it came in second. Yeah. And then it was shown uh, throughout the uh, United States and yeah. Europe to different film yeah. festivals. And it got different uh, positions so at one world, or yeah. two. It did uh, come in yeah. uh, on the top. But uh, like Toronto Film Festival is one of the yeah. premier yeah. uh, festival. Mm -hmm. So it was really nice. Yeah. And uh, to me, uh, I think it was a unique experience. Yeah. And the way I was treated because by Because you are not an actor. You don't, I mean, <laughs> professionally. <laughs> that I don't know. That I don't know. Exactly. No, but, no, but uh, saying yeah, well, yeah. In the movie, I did play a small role, yeah, also, yeah. no mm -hmm. doubt about it. Mm -hmm. But I also was an advisor, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, the again, the whole idea is, uh, you know, about the culture, why we yeah. are here, yeah, yeah. you know, and uh, like every other country, mm -hmm. and um, no, no, and you need to have people like you who have the courage to go in front of the camera and do and represent this community, because if not. People are discriminated like crazy. Uh, it's, uh, I always say, uh, when I was growing up, you know, uh, whenever there was an issue, I will always speak up. Yeah. And my m mom will always say, why you have to speak? <laughs> and I always okay, will say, somebody got to, it's to do it. Do it. Yeah. You know? I know. And uh, if you have the ability which has been given to you by the God, so why not use that ability to further the cause of humanity. Mm -hmm. It's not your personal cause, and you're pushing, you know, because um, whatever, all these things which I did, I don't make any money out of that. People may think that, okay, you know, it was a big deal, you know, he must have made a couple of hundred thousands, if not millions. No, it is all because for the love of the community and mm -hmm. love for this city, mm -hmm. the New York City, which, mm -hmm. um, you know, I always say that um, I, can, I, I will not give it a second thought to protect the city and the rights of the people. But, you know, it's, it's quite complicated to explain to people than being volunteer, than doing something you like to do without economical... Well, I, it, see, <coughs> again, people don't understand it. People don't understand. But I'm like, this is what changed your life. This is what make it unbelievable. I, I, I know, I know. But then again, you know, uh, if within your mind, if you make your mind to understand that, okay, you know what? You just do what needs to be done and move on. Once you make that you know, understanding within your mind and make compromise with your thoughts, then there is no problem. Then you stop worrying about what the people will say. Because it is not a question of what the people no. will say. They will always say no, something. Absolutely. No, no, no. But that's, you yes, know? I agree with you. Yeah. But I'm saying, even you, when you tell them, you know, I travel to Bangladesh, I travel to, you know, all I mean, places. It's, and, it's, and, uh, by all volunteer, people are like, what are you, volunteer, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I mean, last, uh, this January, uh, it's a really, this is really funny. Uh, I got an invitation to go to Pakistan in mm -hmm. Karachi, mm -hmm. okay? I flew out on January 2nd. Mm -hmm. January 3rd, it snowed. JFK was shut down for two days, okay? JFK opened up on j January 8th, and I landed on January 9th. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the God are with you. It's like up, up, up. Yeah, and uh, when I came back, uh, my kids, they were like, Papi, did you know that this thing is going to happen? I'm like, I don't know, you know? That's but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting. And uh, you also, you know, uh, what, other, what is uh, the other benefit is? Look at you. We would have never met in our life had Absolutely. it not been Absolutely. for the for benefit the of the communities. Or the voting right or, uh, the, yeah. you know, protecting the Sikh community. The, uh, protecting the, the minorities, the country, you know. Minorities. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and my life will be, you know, worse yeah, and, by... And, and more, we know more. each other for what, more than 20 years yeah. now? 
You no, know? don't do 20 years. But oh, yeah. Well, okay, all right. Well, make, it, make it 19, make it 19. You know, like I was saying, you know, my beard was black at that time, now it's all white, so. <laughs> no, but, no, yeah. it's true, it's true. It, yeah. It's a very, and it's a very important it, it is, relationship. It is, it, it is. It is actually so important that uh, doesn't matter which faith you believe in, mm -hmm. okay, there's one thing in every faith, and they are like, you know, respect the other human beings, yeah. okay? And to respect the other human beings, you first have to respect yourself, mm -hmm. because otherwise you will not know what it is, okay? And once you do that, then you start looking at it that where you can make the life easy for the others. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a genius, you don't have to be a multi-millionaire, you know, where you first make the money of the people who you then go on to help. Yeah. And you say, you, I'm you, helping you because run, I already, because I I already you make money. <laughs> you know, they will not say it, but uh, th that's how, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. you know, I mean, yeah. uh, those people who made money, basically that's how it came up. So I know you did an event not too long ago on uh, city ID registration, no? Uh, yeah, actually the, the the event on the city ID it's still going on. It oh, they yeah. started Monday at uh, Secultural Society, okay. and they will be there for next three weeks, Monday through Friday, nine to five. Yeah. Um, that that is something you know which is a really brilliant idea to give an ID to the person who does not have an ID to show to the cops yeah. or anybody. Yeah. You know, God forbid if you are traveling, mm -hmm. nothing has happened and an accident takes place and you have no document on you, mm -hmm. how anybody will recognize who the family who yeah. is and where you belong and what it is. So that is an incredible thing for the community and mm -hmm. for the New York City residents. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm pretty sure that you have been working on this thing also, and I have been talking about it too, that why the New York State does not have a driver license for everybody. There are other states who have it. Mm -hmm. So that's where New York State is a little bit behind. Little bit? Well, you know, uh, yeah, when I say a little bit, the reason again, no, no. yeah, the reason again is I said a little bit is because if we really look at it, there are other areas where New York State has gone farther than the other states. Mm -hmm. You know, there are give and take on that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, city is way, way ahead as compared to New York State otherwise. Yeah. You know, yeah. had it been just a New York City, then yeah. I'm definite that the New York City would have been the first one yeah, to issue yeah. that uh, driver mm -hmm. license. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that will also happen, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, we, we need to, uh, you know, also differentiate on um, when, um, in, under the current circumstances, when every immigrant is being labeled as a criminal, Okay, for certain political reasons only. And then out of that, nothing is coming out except more hatred, yeah. more tensions, yeah. and more divide within the communities. Yeah. And uh, America is a country, this, this country is a country which actually was, to me, um, on the top of the world, but it's not there right now. Mm -hmm. It has shaken mm -hmm. the foundations. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure that uh, there are always, you know, uh, like I, I say that, uh, the, the, you know, not just me, but everybody, that the pendulum swings from left to right, you know, but it has to pass through the middle. Yeah. So for the people in this country, they need to realize mm -hmm. that how to hold the middle, mm -hmm. not to go to the left, mm -hmm. not to go to the right. Mm -hmm. You have your opinion, you have your opinion. <coughs> opinions are fine, Yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. But don't try to force your opinions on the others, so, but, yeah. and vice versa. Yeah. You know, on the one hand, we have the extremists who are looking at, um, you know, that certain people should not be in this country. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, we have those extremists who will stop you from speaking mm -hmm. publicly. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, your freedom of speech yeah. is being attacked mm -hmm. one way or the other. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter how you look at it. Mm -hmm. And that should not be 
happening, yeah. especially in this country, mm -hmm. and um, particularly in New York City. And you're going to keep fighting. And I, I got to keep fighting. And I, as long as I know David is on my right side, exactly, I have no problem. You're all right. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me. Thank you. That was Face to Face, and uh, hope to uh, see you very soon. And please keep watching your news on Presenza.com. Thank you.